Okay, hi everyone, we're gonna get started. Thank you all for coming. Um, we're gonna start with some words from Major Funkhauser, our Deputy District Commander. Welcome everyone, my name is Major Tony Funkhauser. I'm the Deputy Commander of the Norfolk District. I uh, just wanna say thanks for coming. So uh, I got to read a little bit of the, the history of this. I'm fairly new to the organization, so I had to do a little bit of learning as well. So I'm gonna go through a little bit of that and where we got to this point and where we are today, and then I'll pass it over to our folks. Um, that can tell you a little bit more about the project. So for, for decades, um, the Lynn Haven River Basin has been impaired for aquatic life. So we've had a lot of loss of submerged aquatic vegetation. We've had a loss of reef habitat, reduced water, water quality, a loss of tidal wetlands and increase in invasive wetland species and a loss of base scallops. So with that, um, Congress approved a plan for us to restore some of those, where in total we had 38 acres of wetland, 94 acres of submerged aquatic vegetation, and then uh, we got to introduce uh, base scallops with that uh, to 22 acres of that submerged aquatic vegetation, as well as 31 acres of hard reef structures, all part of this project. So this project is a, a comprehensive and multi-phased uh, initiative focused on restoring and enhancing the overall health of the ecosystem. And this is really a collaborative effort with us, the city of Virginia Beach, our non-federal sponsor, the community, so you folks here uh, helping us out today, uh, as well as uh, environmental organizations. And we all have that shared goal uh, to pervert, preserve and restore the Lynn Haven River Basin. So what have we done so far up to this point within phase one and phase two? So for phase one, we successfully completed in 2021, contrib contributing to the construction of wetlands, hard reef habitat, and the initial submerged aquatic vegetation. And the phase two reef is under construction this year, and the phase two wetland will be awarded in 2025. And that brings us here to today, where we're beginning to look at uh, options for phase three. And really for phase three, we're focused on uh, the investigation of additional wetland sites, and that's where we're looking for feedback. So, one, again, thanks for coming. Um, your voice uh, is very, very important. The Norfolk District really thrives on uh, community input, so we appreciate you guys being here. And then we're hopeful that with your guys' input and feedback, we'll be able to get closer to our goal of identifying the final 10.7 acres of wetlands uh, sites identified. So I appreciate it, and I'll pass it over to Zach. Hey, good evening, folks. Um, my name is Zach Martin. I am our chief of environmental analysis section at Norfolk District. Um, thank you very much for coming tonight. Um, these are really important opportunities for us um, to ensure we're we're serving the public good and and meeting objectives uh, we have in these studies. So we're really excited about uh, the continued opportunity we have for the Lynn Haven project. Um, and really, I, I'm going to echo some of uh, what Tony's already shared. And and tonight is really about in order to ensure we're um, meeting the public good and and really meeting our objectives. We're we're really coming at this focused on the three C's: so commitment, uh, communication, and collaboration. So commitment, really tonight we're expressing our commitment to really serving the public good, coming to, coming to with a project that really is the best project for the community of Virginia Beach and the Lynn Haven River Basin. Um, and we are, we're here communicating uh, transparently, clearly, and, and this is the start of early and often for, for phase three. Um, and finally, collaboration, you know, we are, we're here to to draw on on your feedback, feedback that we can integrate into um, whatever we end up planning for for phase three wetland restoration. So um, we were excited to have you engaged tonight. Uh, really, thank you for your time. Um, and uh, uh, I'll hand it over to Jim. Good evening. That was black too. We'll just play limbo. Um, 
Thank you all for being here. I'm Jim Milliken. I'm with the City of Virginia Beach Department of Public Works. Um, my team and I are responsible for planning and constructing water quality improvement projects across the City of Virginia Beach. Uh, we target uh, waterways that have impairments like the major uh, brought up earlier with uh, all the impairments in the Lynn Haven River, the Chesapeake Bay, um, and, and other waterways throughout the uh, throughout the city. Um, and uh, the city of Virginia Beach, uh, you know, echoes those three C's. Uh, we have a commitment to restoring the, the wetlands in the city. You know, there's a, a little story to be told. I'll try to keep my elevator speech pretty short here, but there's a, a story of wetlands um, just in our society in general, where we didn't always value wetlands as much as we should have historically in our society. You know, we have, uh, there have been examples of dredging projects where they dredged areas from the Lynn Haven Inlet historically and dumped the dredge spoils on a wetland, a nice, beautiful wetland, and they just smothered it up. Um, we've put infill in the wetlands uh, and wetlands are under threat as well from uh, erosion carrying sediments out and so the plants can't survive. And then we have rising uh, tidal waters and sinking ground combining to also drown out some of our wetland plants and, and wetland areas. So throughout the city since about 1958, or I guess the picture here is 1958, but the statistics is the in the 1970s, we've lost um, about over a third of our wetlands since the 70s and even more since prior to that. Uh, so the city of Virginia Beach has a commitment to protecting what we have and, and restoring and, and trying to bring some wetland areas back uh, because they provide a, a, such a great natural resource to our community that's very valuable to us. And I won't get into all the values, I'll leave that into our expert scientists to explain all the values that we get from wetlands, uh, but the city of Virginia Beach is doing many activities to uh, restore wetlands throughout the city. Um, I, I know we're on the final phase of our wetland restoration with our partnership with the Army Corps on this particular project, uh, but this isn't the end of what the city of Virginia Beach overall is doing. You know, we also have uh, our Back Bay Marsh restoration that we're doing as part of our bond referendum floodplain or flood protection projects. We've got wetland restorations in the Elizabeth River, um, and we're continuing to look at um, further efforts uh, for the future as well. So this is not only helpful for this project, but it's also helpful to, to direct our restoration efforts uh, as the city looking into the future as well. So thank you for being here. And I'll move it on to who's next in line. Gina, thank you. Okay. Uh, my name is Gina Dodolo. I'm a biologist with the Army Corps of Engineers, and I'm the environmental lead for this phase three of the Lynn Haven River Basin Ecosystem Restoration Project. I'll be giving a brief presentation providing information on this next phase of the wetland restoration portion of the Lynn Haven Project within the Lynn Haven River Watershed. Phase three is needed to complete the acreage goals for the wetland restoration. Um, and so today we hope to gain public input on some pre-selected wetland restoration sites and input on other potential wetland restoration sites that you think are a good idea for restoration or enhancement. Um, I ask that you please save all of your questions until the open house portion of the meeting. We will have many of our experts here today that will gladly answer any of your questions. So for phase three, we will be doing a supplemental environmental assessment. We will be coordinating with agencies again, and we'll continue to provide opportunities for the public to comment. So what is the National Environmental Policy Act, also referred to as NEPA? It is one of the nation's oldest environmental laws that applies to federal agencies. Under NEPA, we are required to develop a public document 
to consider and disclose the environmental effects of proposed actions. What is scoping? Scoping is the step in the NEPA process when the public is invited to participate in identifying issues, alternatives, and potentially significant effects to be considered in the analysis. Scoping is beneficial at helping us make informed decisions. How will your comments be incorporated into what we're doing? Public input will be used to aid in identifying alternatives, environmental resources to evaluate, defining what environmental effects to assess, and determining new sources of data or information. We understand how important public involvement is, which is why we are incorporating the public early for phase three and are excited to hear your feedback and suggestions. The Lynn Haven River Basin Ecosystem Restoration Project is authorized for construction under Section 7002 of the Water Resources Reform and Development Act of 2014. The overall purpose of this project is ecosystem restoration, which involves restoring 31 acres of hard reef, 94 acres of SAV, and 38 acres of wetlands. Wetlands will be the focus of today's meeting. The City of Virginia Beach is our non-federal sponsor. And lastly, this project is already funded, so we are looking for a cost-effective approach for phase three. So we are now on phase three of the wetland restoration portion of the project, um, but phase one and phase two were planned and designed as proposed in the environmental assessment. This map shows where they are located. Phase one is located along Thalia Creek behind Princess Anne High School. That restoration site has already been constructed. Phase two is located along Great Neck Creek, north of Virginia Beach Boulevard. And phase two is currently in the design phase. We are not asking for comment on either of these phases, just phase three. Um, I will, however, provide some background. So phase one has been completed and it totaled five and a half acres. It was completed in January 2022, and we are coming up on our third year of monitoring. Phase one involved the removal of the invasive species Phragmites australis, and the site was replanted with native salt marsh community and a variety of saltbush species. The phase one site is doing quite well. The planted marsh plants have increased coverage 21% from year one to year two. Phase two restoration site is currently in the design phase. This site is 21.8 acres. The plan for this phase is to remove the Phragmites australis that's present, plant native salt marsh plants, and protect any native plants that are already there. Construction is anticipated to start in the fall of 2025. We are targeting the remaining 10.7 acres for phase three in order to reach the goal of restoring 38 acres of tidal wetlands within the Lynn Haven River. And this photo here is actually taken from our phase one site, and it's a really cute photo with the two different bird species. Um, these photos are also from our phase one site. Um, you can see how the plantings have really filled in in just over a year. Um, so this site has been very successful so far. And um, we're hoping to continue this type of success with our phase two and phase three. So for phase three, we're hoping to restore the 10.7 acres of tidal marsh within the Lynn Haven River. We are currently looking for new potential wetland restoration sites because the sites that we had originally identified in the environmental assessment are no longer viable options. We had originally chosen to look at Mildam Creek for phase three. However, that site is on, is less than one acre, so it wouldn't really contribute to our overall acreage goal. Um, and then our other site we had identified in the environmental assessment was Great Neck South, but that site we realized would require very complex construction needs. It has low salinity, there is a lack of tidal flushing, and there are many real estate and access constraints. So considering lessons learned from previous phases, we have decided that it would be beneficial to the project to find new wetland sites for phase three. We need a site that helps meet our acreage goal 
but is also within our cost limit because we do have limited funds. So this map shows the eight sites selected by the Army Corps in the city of Virginia Beach as potential wetland restoration sites for phase three. We are looking for any input on these sites as well as suggestions for alternative sites that maybe we haven't considered yet. This map is also provided on the handout and on one of our storyboards. So the objectives for phase three are to preserve marsh function through increased habitat and species diversity and sustainability, to reduce acreage of invasive marsh plants such as Phragmites australis, and to provide secondary production benefits to the Linhaven River. When assessing potential wetland sites for phase three, we had to consider things like how much would it cost to construct? Are we avoiding impacts to existing fisheries and navigation? Is the salinity ideal for growth of native marsh plants? And does it have adequate tidal connectivity? So why are wetlands even important and why do we want to restore them? Well, wetlands provide a series of important ecosystem services, including providing forage, nursery, and shelter habitat for a variety of fish, waterfowl, and shellfish. Wetlands also improve water quality and clarity through filtering pollutants. Wetlands provide wave attenuation and shoreline protection benefits and flood protection benefits. And wetlands contribute to recreational activities such as fishing. The main impacts to wetlands are human development and sea level rise. We are currently planning field visits for each of, for each of these eight sites. Um, the Army Corps in the city of Virginia Beach have had multiple discussions on what to do for phase three, since we are no longer using the sites selected in the environmental assessment. And we were able to narrow it down to these sites that you see on the map. Um, so these sites have been carefully considered as potential restoration sites based on their feasibility of property acquisition, their acreage, their constructability, and salinity levels. I think it's important that we share our process and we're excited to hear your feedback on phase three. However, public comments must be submitted by June 11th. You can provide comments in the comment box or send them to me. I'll have my info on the next slide. Um, but we will have more opportunities for public involvement throughout the project. We do have storyboards set up for you to look at. And if you do have a location suggestion for phase three, um, you have the option to add a point to the overview map. And we will also have Google Earth provided in case anyone wants to look more closely at any sites. <laughs>